Hi, this is Wayne Blyle, and today we're going to talk about a little tool that's buried in QuickBooks that I've noticed a lot of people that could use it over the years haven't. As a matter of fact, very few people are really familiar with it, and that's called class tracking. Um, class tracking simply allows you to analyze different segments of your business, and that can be anything from different office locations, business divisions, different clients, different products you sell, different product lines. I've even set it up to use with trucking companies where they can actually see what their individual trucks are costing them, how much they're making, and, and repair costs and things like that. Often very handy, uh, used for retail, I mean retail, <laughs> real estate, where people uh, that own multiple properties are, can track the expenses and income by property. So it's a heck of a nice little tool. Let me give you a little bit of an example. Let's open up regular profit and loss. We're using this, uh, not sure why the mouse is bouncing, but that's all right. There we go. That's interesting. Hope it's not too distracting. Um, we're using a little, uh, we're going to use a sample company, uh, Larry's Landscaping and Garden and Supply up here. And we're using 2012, but it's pretty much the same since so oh, <laughs> 19 late 90s. So this feature is there. We're going to look at their profit and loss, and it's basically their income statement. You know, for their fiscal year, the two and a half months uh, ended October 1st to December 15th, 2016. And with a regular profit and loss, we see their sales from their landscaping services and the different job material that they charge there to design services and their labor. Total income of 57,000 with, you know, a little bit of markup, total, really, this is total landscaping services, total income is 65,698. And you can get in here and you can see, you know, okay, they made a little bit of money out of this. That's not bad. It's a decent little small business and they're doing it. But by itself, this doesn't tell me a heck of a lot. And what if I could see their different departments and now what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to open a profit and loss by class now both of those remember you come up here to reports you click on reports you go to company and financial this was the first one the profit and loss standard and this one was the profit and loss by class so that's how you get them all right but once you have them what do they say well this this particular sample company has separated its it, it into three areas um, they use their design they use, uh, so we have our design section, our landscaping section, our maintenance section, and overhead, which is just items that need to be classified, you know, allocated completely. And then they just got some unclassified stuff, which just means that a couple of things. It could mean they don't care about tracking them and it's unusual stuff. Or it could be just errors that somebody hasn't gotten around to actually putting in what they need to do. Now, what's what's cool about this? Well, if you look, first of all, it totals it across the end. And notice it was still income of 65000 um, sorry, an income of 65698 so it tied to our other one. And we're now the owner now can actually dig in and see, okay, my design business in this time period made 13500 My landscaping still is most of my business. Got a little bit of maintenance. Might want to build that up some because that might be reoccurring business. Got another 8000 in just unclassified work, which just, and, and you know, one of the things the owner could do is double click on this and eh, it's tree removal so they they just you know they're doing some tree removal and notice what I just did by the way that's kind of important you have the zoom feature so I could actually click in all the way and I could literally look at a particular invoice and say wow that's a lot less what ah, she did Jasmine okay now oh, they had some true you know they had some trimming that needed to be done and three trees that needed to be removed so that's that's pretty interesting and tells me it was paid so it's pretty handy um, you know, I can now continue to look at my cost and actually review my cost by area and get down to my profit centers and design, you know, I'm just not making a lot of money. You know, my costs are kind of heavy, uh, payroll basically. So this is an area where I know I better, you know, I got to keep a designer on staff and I better get some more work for him. Maybe I consider, I, I could maybe just consider this a necessary evil and all I'm trying to do to break even. So maybe this is successful. We don't know. Landscaping, we're making some money. Maintenance is bringing in a little bit. Now, obviously, we've got the unclassified to make some money. And I don't really like that because we only made, well, we got an overhead. And this is stuff that, need, that can't easily be allocated. Like this could be the office people. It could be uh, the management people right here. Um, we're talking about this one. Automobile could be for the owner. Disability insurance. And we probably could allocate this if we wanted to but you know you probably just don't care enough and we can make a simple allocation but you can allocate anything you want the rent 
one of the things about overhead is you, you, this is the, what you need to it's kind of nice to have it this way because this kind of tells you these are costs you're going to have whether you have one customer or not <clears throat> so this kind of tells me that over a two and a half month period uh, i need to average about mm, eight thousand dollars a month in sales to, uh, gross profit after my cost my margin cost in order to uh, pay my overhead that i'm going to have so this is kind of handy now it's not real hard to open to do um to set it up first if you don't see these reports the first thing you do is you go to edit all right you click on that you go to preferences and then it's just a matter of me remembering where it's at because i just sort of forgot uh, under accounting use account numbers it's right here so when you go to accounting up here you go to company preferences and it use class tracking if you're going to use class tracking i would turn that on and i'll show you why in a second this basically says that when somebody uh, puts in some an expense item or not they're going to be prompted hey you forgot to put the class on so that's not a bad idea what i would do is say okay at this point and now how easy is it to do well let's let's look at an invoice and i'll show you um first thing is we open an invoice let's go back to a prior one and what it does is it adds a field right here and these classes are self to there's a, there's a drop down menu and you can design any one you want. I mean, you can put whatever you want in there. Like if you, these are, let's say they decide to put in tree trimming. It's easy enough to add one. You just click on this add one button. You type in tree trimming. And yeah, let's get rid of the cap lock. Tree trimming, tree uh, removal actually is what I, what I think I saw. Removal. And now I have a, a new category. Mm -hmm. Now maybe I don't want that to be by itself. Uh, if you notice, let's say I want to edit one of these. It's, I can't really get rid of them. I can add here. If I go up here to my list section, you're going to see a class list here. And here you can do all the normal things that you normally do by going down here. You can edit, delete. In this case, let's go to tree removal. And we can right click also, edit the class, and make it a subclass of landscaping. We can do that too if we want to. So you got a little bit of flexibility, and, and on an invoice, it's right there. Um, on bills, if you're using the payable se section, it's right there. So when you order material, it's easy enough. And let's see if they had one previously. See right here, this is overhead. This is, let's go back to material. Telephone, uh, here's some masonry. Okay, so in this particular invoice, they went to Robert Carr Masonry. They bought some rocks, garden rocks. They even put the customer name in here so they can do some job costing. We'll talk about that later. And here's where they put the class because that customer is tied to there. Now that's that's really kind of handy. Um, inside writing a check, if you just write a check straight out, it also has the class right here if you look, see? So I can click here, pick my class. So it's really just one more field you have to do when you're entering stuff. And I just want to see if the... Uh, that was interesting. I'm going to get a little hang up here. <laughs> Let's uh, forget about that. We can also do it when you're entering credit card charges. So if you're entering your credit card, that too has it. See? So it is easy to put in the information. You get some great results out of it. Um, consider how you might be able to use class tracking in your business and don't be afraid of it. Trust me. This is a very powerful tool for analyzing your financial position, and just about everybody nowadays has some reason to use class tracking. Hey, until next time, let's make this our most profitable year ever, and thank you for joining us.